Okay, welcome back. At this point, we've done all the turning, and now what we want to do is some of the milling and dr other drillings that are on this model. Let's maybe start with the drillings. That's pretty simple. So I'm going to select this hole right here, right click, and I'm going to go to drilling and choose hole machining. I'm going to pick a tool as well. We're going to use my 5 millimeter drill in this case, because maybe I'm going to pre-drill this and bore it out with something else, who knows. But now what we need to do is we need to select this hole and this hole. Now, this is kind of cool. If I go here and I do a search, you'll see that it finds it, right? But the problem is our machine can't reach it because this is a non-y-axis machine. So in order to machine this, we have to turn on radial mode, which is in the multi-axis section here. So all we have to do is turn on multi-axis, come up here and choose, or pardon me, I said radial, I meant axial, and choose axial. And now those drillings turn from red to orange and we can control them. Moreover, if we go back to geometry here, you can control the C-axis optimization. Maybe I only want to go in C-, minus. whatever. Again, speeds and feeds are speeds and feeds. If you go into the settings here, maybe you want to do a pecking cycle. Maybe we should check that out. So let's do a, a pecking cycle. We'll go here and we'll say maybe a 0.1 pecking cycle. Why not? And let's see what happens. So if I validate this, you're going to see that tool come in. And you can see we're even simulating the pecking. Now because I don't have machine simulation turned on, it's showing the tool is rotating in this case. But that's just to illustrate that this is indeed a C-axis cut. And I'll show this with the C-axis in a little bit. From here now, maybe what we want to do is the milling. So again, same thing. Maybe I'm going to select this face here, right click, and go to side milling. Now in this case, the software picked my end mill for me. But I don't see a preview of tool path yet. I wonder why that is. Well, again, we need to activate the C-axis. I'm also going to activate polar coordinates here. I don't want to use straight C, I want to use polar coordinates so I can use cutter compensation. This machine also requires me to initialize C to zero degrees before I can use polar coordinates, so that's kind of cool. Next I'm going to come into here and I'm going to set my depth of cut. Maybe I want this to be sixteenth of an inch. Cool. Maybe you're leaving stock or not, that's up to you. I want to use shifted cutter compensation. Great. Lead in, lead out. You know what? This is a bit extreme. Maybe I need 50 thousandths. And how about, oh, 45 degrees? Something like that. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay? Now, because this is a more complex pa uh, part, we need to help the software a little bit as well. So maybe what we want to do is go into our altitudes and play around with that. For example, I want to machine to the minimal f uh, value of this face. That'll set the lowest altitude possible. And I want to start from the highest altitude of this face. Pretty cool. And that's that. We validate and now we've machined that way. And what I want to do first is I would like to go ahead and activate for you the simulation. So if we go to simulation here and I turn on the machine, so you're going to see that tool indexing. We're going to come down and now you're seeing, let me slow it down, and now you're seeing cutting this with the C-axis. Pretty cool. Now, there's a couple of ways that we could machine all these slots. One is with a repetition, but you could also just go and select them. Sometimes the easiest solution is just go and, go and do. Select the faces to machine. If you want, you can turn off the machine. Here I'm rotating by using what's called a space mouse, and I'm just selecting the faces that I want to apply this to. And the software is doing the rest for me. Perfect. So now we have all those operations. We validate. And now let's watch the simulation on this because I think this will be pretty fun as well. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate again. Here you'll see it with the machine. So it's going to come in. It's doing its C-axis cut. It's going to pull out. It's going to index the part over. And it's going to start machining the next slot. Just like that. That took a few seconds and you're done. That's one of the best parts. At this point, we're done machining this side. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to reposition this part into another machining document, and now we'll machine the back side.